that will actually remind you okay dude what are you doing you don't need to do this you have to uh, if you want to finish this task by the end of the day then you should get back to work that's the thing if you have clear goal if you have enthusiasm to uh, uh, about achieving your aim first of all it won't give a impression and otherwise you may be disappointing some stakeholders or your clients Hi everyone, my name is Yogesh and uh, in this video we are going to talk about uh, my study routine. I'm going to talk about my study routine uh, while working because that's a really important task uh, because uh, someone when someone is looking for a job switch or uh, wants to switch their career so that's a really important question that they often ask that uh, they are not even uh, they are not able to manage the time they are not able to get the time when they are working so here i'm going to talk about that how my experience is going so far so uh, and how i i am managing my time so first of all uh, before beginning this video like i would say that education is not the filling of a pain it is the lightning of a fire right so as you say that uh, if I specifically say or begin this video with uh, uh, the first point, I could say that how I do manage my study. So first of all, I begin with uh, uh, rising early or like study early in the morning. So first of all, when do I wake up early in the morning? Then do I make a scheduled plan? Like this is going to be my plan for the day considering, okay, like this must uh, this must work uh, or like this must the time that I have to do considering if I am uh, if I specifically talk about studying so consider now I have uh, I'm talking uh, about this problem solving skill so I'm practicing DSA so I'm practicing DSA on a specific problem consider array so I would say hey today I would solve two problems on this part or like uh, first of all what I do in the early morning generally I try to give uh, uh, lead code daily challenges so it has been keeping consistent uh, consistent because that's the most important thing that uh, like this is the answer of every question that how to master recursion how to uh, how to hold off everything if you have consistency if you can be consistent at anything any skill that you are working upon not specifically to the dsa part but anything that i think you can become a pro or a champ that's for sure so that's how i do it and uh, other than that then i do make a schedule plan okay that after i have to make these meetings i have to attend these meetings i have to do this work considering that my uh, job office hours is 10 to 6 so 10 am to 6 pm i am uh, at our office but i do manage uh, my time like i figure out if i'm getting some free time over there also in office because it's not always possible that uh, you are just uh, typing the code or writing the code uh, the whole day right so of course you have got the chance but it's you it, it's up to you like how smart you are if you think like uh, that uh, okay uh, this is the time to chill or this is the time to be videos or like chit chat with friends so it's up to you but uh, what i do i instead of doing these things i try to figure out some time or manage time because it's up to me right if if uh, at the end of the day like i i can blame uh, th thousands of people or like i have thousands of uh, reason uh, to so that i could say that hey i didn't find the time to practice dsa or to study but uh, it's up to me that how can i get the time out of this so what do i try so anyhow that if i get free time so i try to do or like uh, to make use of it so that's how I, that's how i do it and that other than that uh, what i do i study in the weekend so with full efforts and uh, utilization because uh, weekend is the part <laughs> otherwise uh, of course uh, i'm not sure uh, like i'm not saying that uh, you don't have life of course you do have life but it depends upon you too that for example if what kind of uh, role or what kind of uh, aim you are targeting and uh, how much dedication does it require also i'm not saying that uh, you should uh, uh, you should not live up to your life or you should not uh, enjoy with your friends on the weekend or of course there are like th th many plans that you make with your friends or colleagues or to with your uh, relatives or with your family to spend the time but i'm just saying that i do figure out it smartly that how much time do i need to dedicate it considering that what i do in, on the weekends is or uh, like uh, i usually spend uh, two to three hours a day uh, on practicing dsa so at the end of the day or like at the end of the saturday and sunday so at the weekends i try to give first of all weekly and bi-weekly challenges again so because contest helps you in keeping or like getting hold of those concepts very good uh, and uh, getting uh, like you you will have to don't express you have to give time to recall all those questions or that you have practiced earlier but uh, what i do in saturday and sunday in the weekend time i just practice or like i just go through all those new concepts that i've learned or that i have uh, got uh, got to learn during the weekdays so i try to do that and other than that uh, if your job is far away from home so I, right so study uh, while traveling like uh, you could uh, uh, you could use uh, your earphones and you could use uh, like maybe
maybe you, you are watching a video so no i'm not saying specifically some uh, something to that that you, uh, you should uh, always do that that if it requires taking notes of course that won't be possible but sometimes uh, uh, like the videos that that you need to be uh, or learn to be uh, th- uh, theoretically or for example if you are learning something that that is only the theoretical part and you have to revise it so you could just plug in there your phones while traveling because it's up to you to make again uh, time like how you are utilizing your time and how to make out of it and other than that i would suggest that uh, uh, making because discipline is really necessary discipline is all the first one i would say because if you are disciplined if you make a routine if you have a plan that okay these are the things because plan really helps you to do that otherwise you would be deviated because consider if daily uh, or if you are at your desk job in in the office and if i make a sticky note over there or write over there like these are the tasks that i have to finish by the end of the day so you are i mean consider that uh, i'm googling something or i'm just watching youtube or i'm binge watching any series i'm not say, suggesting you uh, that you should do it in office but at your home desk also right so you could do this thing you could put a sticky note that this this is the task that i have to do or i have to do by the end of the day so if you have even like uh, trying to uh, trying to waste your time or not i'm i won't say that waste your time but if you are not focusing your time which you initially planned to but if you will see that so that will actually remind you okay dude what are you doing you don't need to do this you have to uh, if you want to finish this task by the end of the day then you should get back to work right so that's a, another thing the plan so first of all make a plan because plan gives you the very clarity that what is the end and term goal and how much time even you need to for example sometimes the people who also often that when they solve or that when they study they don't know how much time to dedicate like they stuck on a particular topic and uh, like for for a couple of weeks and initially so planning so planning is really necessary right and other than that uh, i would suggest you that uh, of course because uh, these things like you are managing your studies as well as your work so these could like uh, this could lead to the burnout thing so i don't want that you to be burn- uh, you should not feel burnt out so do make sure uh, you take time out of it where you can enjoy with your friends going out with movies or i mean of course this uh, brain is also like a machine right i, I mean uh, you're taking uh, so much efforts or like so much out of it so you should be enjoying your time also so do not uh, if you are feeling stressed or burnt out so do spend time with your family uh, with your relatives with your friends so anything that you want to do that would really help out so make sure that you do make it it shouldn't be like that uh, it's a burden on your uh, on your head so if you think like oh i have to study the whole day i have my task to do how will i do that so no i mean it's your choice right you are studying while working because you are looking maybe for a job switch or maybe for maybe for an another uh, another aim right so if that is your aim and if that is your dream so i mean i i can remind of uh, remind one quote of uh, dr apj abdul kalam who says that dreams are not which one see uh, uh, while sleeping dreams are the one which don't let sleep uh, yourself right so i mean that's a really thing if you are think that this is my clarity it shouldn't feel like a burden out of uh, so don't think don't stress about it but instead try to manage the time out of it okay so what i what i would suggest that if i talk about my thing so i just go to early i go early to my bed because my office uh, starts uh, at 10 am but uh, usually at night uh, 11 am or 11:30 i i sleep and uh, in the morning i do wake up at 6 6:30 6 so after that because taking 6 to at least you should take 6 to 7 hours of sleep although it may depend upon people to people but according to me for me it was that i should have at least 6 to 7 hours of sleep so th- uh, that's how i do it and after that i hit the gym so because uh, <laughs> i i like to go gym and uh, and do some meditation after that because that really helps you in enchanting or to mesmerize all those things that okay these are the things so meditation is really important part of it because it really helps you in uh, staying focused right because uh, uh, th- there's another thing and after that i do practice and uh, another thing would be uh, i would say the other point would be that how can i or like how you can also st- uh, keep uh, or manage your study while working it would be like you should have also a clear idea or discuss with your managers or with mentors like okay these are the time duration or these are the durations that are supposed to be uh, th- uh, that are supposed to work upon or like these are uh, these are the timelines so discuss that whatever you are work doing upon it wouldn't uh, impact the work that you are currently doing for example if i am studying right but the current work that i am doing at my company if i don't do it properly or if i don't do it on the times if i miss the deadline so it could be it could be a really it, it won't first of all it won't give a impression 
information and otherwise you may be disappointing some stakeholders or your clients or uh, whichever that task was initially scheduled to be so discuss with your employer that uh, you can manage your work or like you can manage your work schedules right and other than that i was actually saying that use your time productively and uh, because it's up to you that how much time you are taking or uh, how to manage these things if so and other than that i would say that of course look after yourself you should also take care of your mental health as well as your physical health because it's a lot of pressure that uh, that that our mind is handling and other than that i would say that don't overdo it like i mean you should be be realistic about the time or the standing or uh, at work for example sometimes people what do they think they will say hey uh, if i have to go consider i have to uh, i have to spend 2 hours at the night for studying and they'll say yeah uh, what can i do i can do one thing why not to go out with friends and chill with them and uh, i will just cut 2 hours of, out of my sleep and uh, then i would be working upon no it, it's it's not good i mean if even if you are able to cut the 2 hours out of sleep but that was not necessary right so you should be clear with your thought process and be realistic about it so don't uh, exam don't uh, uh, like <clears throat> uh, uh, underestimate or like don't uh, uh, overdo the thing that okay like these are the so be be realistic about the time that you need to spend about studying and work so make a proper balance of that okay and uh, another than that uh, i would be i would saying that take the advantage of technology like class notes are essential right so uh, like as i was saying that whenever you are uh, traveling so you could just plug in the earphones and listen to this and even if you are in the office because sometimes in the office i do see that there are a couple of hours or 2 to 3 hours a day not always but usually uh, but uh, like on mondays or tuesdays so what do i do in the meantime that i try to utilize that time i try to read the articles i try to learn some new algorithms so that's what i do it and other and other than that i would say that try to find your comfort zone so like with regards to the like ideal place and time to study so everybody has their own idea right so try to identify your comfort uh, comfort zone that okay uh, because some of the people say that they are more productive they were more productive during work from home because it was really uh, easy to manageable uh, why because they they won't need to travel unnecessarily or go to here and there they were just on their home place and they were not doing it and they were able to uh, do like more productive they were very productive uh, comparing to there uh, there were some other people who were saying that uh, they were not productive during the work from home because they were not aware about that uh, what uh, like how is the world going outside right so they were feeling that they are just uh, sleepy at home they are not going they are not being being productive they are not being productive it's not like that uh, they are getting some motivation because getting motivation is also a really important part of it because that's the thing if you have clear goal if you have enthusiasm to uh, uh, about achieving your aim so uh, the motivation because sometimes people do feel because all days are not same look right there are some good days and there are some oh, bad days but it's up to us at the end of their day consider if i have made my uh, if my half of the day has been bad or like it it wasn't uh, as was uh, it it wasn't good as i was expecting so what would i do will i do let the whole day go same like that or will i do no i won't let my whole day like this and i would be productive and i would do this work so this was uh, this was the another part right so of course like you should be be realistic about this about it like make sure that you get enough sleep and do make sure about uh, like the distraction like for example you shouldn't practice uh, or like you shouldn't uh, studying while turning on the tv so that, that's the one of the habit of mine when i was working on home uh, so I, i used to turn tv and i was i used to do work and coding at the like study at the same time so it really cuts your productivity i mean where i was initially supposed to solve consider five problems a day i was just solving two literally i was solving our two problems i was like whole time whole time i'm sitting in the front of my laptop screen but the where the time is going so you will have to be very very realistic about it and then the most important part would be eat properly eat properly eat healthy so you should always take care about your health also uh, like uh, uh, okay it also i'm not saying that you should not all you should not eat this and those things but try to stay uh, away from uh, these junk foods or like these i mean i'm not saying that you should not totally eat it upon uh, of course it depends upon you uh, that okay if that's the taste but we try to eat healthy food why because if you will eat healthy food it will keep your uh, physically right you will keep uh, it will keep you physically healthy and if you are physically healthy then your mental uh, like work will also do uh, like your um, you will be mentally will also be fit right so mentally will also be fit and that's why you would be more productive and you could say that uh, at the work so i think these were the things that i would say uh, that i do while uh, studying so this is the routine that i follow and i hope that you were able to get out of this video 
Till then, thank you so much. Bye bye.